you know, having devotions in the morning has changed my life. I... Greetings, everybody. Uh, it's been a while since we posted, so uh, we, we've been really busy, even though you haven't saw some of the stuff that we're doing. So we're, we're going to get better at posting back on a regular weekly basis. So that that's coming. I have a lot of videos that I need to just get edited and get out there. But in the meantime, we're going to do a, a quick one here today. You'll notice here on the back of my tractor, I've mounted a bracket. And uh, this is for our 12,000 uh, pound winch that uh, I want to be able to use to skid some logs if, if need to. And also some of the hills out here on, on the land. Uh, it's a little bit muddy from the snow that we recently had, and I want to make sure if I if I uh, drive down the bottom of one of these hills that I can I can get myself winched out if I have to. So anyway, we're getting ready to open the the, the winch, get it out of the box, and get it mounted here. So hope you enjoy. Well, hello again, folks. Again, we're getting ready to install this winch. If you'll see that I've got this from Northern Tool. It's Ironton. It's a 12,000 pound, 12 volt DC electric winch. So this is my first time using this, uh, this particular model of winch. So I'm kind of anxious to, uh, to see how it goes. So let me get it out of the box and we'll, we'll see what we think. I think I have a pocket knife here somewhere. There it is. Okay, it's going to be Christmas in uh, in February, so it is for me anyway. Just looking at the okay, we've got a got a relay here, and just a battery cable, uh, remote control, an instruction booklet on how to operate it, install it. I'll look at that in just a moment. Hook to go on the end of the cable and some mounting bolts. Control box. This is where the remote control fastens on. We've got the uh, some cables there. So okay, this right here will end up mounting in this area right here. We'll get that just set aside for a moment. This is the winch. I'm just going to swing her around and set her right here. Okay, I, I just set the winch up here now, so now we'll start mounting it to the bracket and we'll see how that goes. Interesting mounting bolts. These just slide in the back here and then underneath 
Let's see if I can get this one kind of lined up. Okay, about right there is where that one goes. Uh -huh. Need to get me a pair of pliers here. See, they don't make it real easy, but that's okay. Just want to get it. Okay. That little bolt's in place. It should go like that. And that popped right out, didn't it? One bolt in, not tight, but it's just in. <laughs> you know, this part's probably not too interesting to most people. But it has to be done. And as you can see here, it has an Allen head on it. I don't have an Allen wrench that size out here on the property. So I have to bring one tomorrow and finish tightening these up, but we can at least get it mounted. So. I think, <laughs> okay. Trying to, trying to figure out the best way to get my hand back there. To do the, the last two, it's not going to be easy. Can't get to it that way. I have an idea. Let's see if it works. Got that one in. So now it's just a matter of getting going back to the house and getting the right wrench to tighten it up. So we'll check back later. Okay, I have a few more things I can go ahead and get mounted on here. So we'll just do that.
it. Okay. Got that for it. Let's get my knife out again. And you know, I already messed up a little bit. So I'm going to show my mess up too. Come on, come on around here. I shouldn't have put this on just yet, and I'll show you why. You see this piece here? I need to mount that first, so I'm just gonna pull this back off. It'll take me just a moment. Just kind of a quick overview. Here is the remote control. It will just plug into here then, and I will be able to stand back way out of the way and uh, be able to operate the winch then. I'm anxious to see how it works out. We got some pretty good logs, pretty good sized logs. And just a point, some have asked, what is the purpose of this log here on the back of the box blade? The whole purpose of this is just to add extra weight. Uh, so when I'm leveling the, the gravel road coming up to the property, excuse me, to the land, I just got that eyebrow from my, from my better half. She says, this is the land, it's not the property, so. Anyway, I, I stand corrected. This is the land. So, but anyway, as I as I grade the, the road coming up to the land, I was needing some extra weight. So, you know, that works out pretty good. When I bought my tractor, I had the tires loaded with uh, with beet juice. Actually, rim guard. I think is what they put in there. But really, all rim guard is is beet juice. So that that helped give me a lot of extra weight on the tractor itself. But I needed something on the uh, on the box blade and. And then I had a few flats out here. We had a horrendous amount of uh, honey locusts out here. Big old long thorns. I think I showed some pictures of those at some point. And uh, so anyway, uh, we had those uh, to get in some tires. So I had the tire repaired the other day, and, and they're all stand up good. So I think we're I think we're past that now.